Thor's Collectors and welcome to another Boss Bounty video and welcome to episode 171 of Ask Boss Bounty. This is the weekly Q&A series that drops every Sunday where I take your questions from the comment section below and do my best to answer them. So if you do have a question for next week's episode, please leave it in the comment section below and hopefully you'll be featured. Uh, there was a break last week because I was at Star Wars Celebration, so I do apologise about that. And also from Celebration, I left with a very nice gift which was the dreaded COVID. Um, I have not been well at all this week. The first 24 hours of it were pretty horrendous, I've got to say, but I'm over the worst. I've still got a bit of a cold, but I'm back up and running and I'm here to make this video. So if you do happen to enjoy the video, don't forget to drop a like down below. And as I said, if you do have a question for next week's episode, they might be a little bit more relevant than the ones this week because obviously we've had the celebration reveals since then. Please leave it in the comment section below and let's keep this series going. All right then with all that being said let's get straight on to the first question. Alejandro Manzo says great video as always Tim with the recent announcements of new Star Wars films do you think this will allow Hasbro to a time the new character releases much closer to when their respective media releases and b have a bigger offering of characters at the initial release. Thank you as always. So yeah I think they'll be able to release things closer to when things drop because they'll have more time it also does depend on what Lucasfilm share with them beforehand. In terms of a bigger offering, I'm, I'm still not 100% sure about that. I still think Lucasfilm might be a bit worried about, you know, how certain films are perceived and how well they do and how many toys they can sell off the back of them, basically. I don't think they want another Last Jedi situation where, you know, let's face it, some of the figures are still on the pegs to this very day and then they have to just cancel completely the line of figures from the what was it the rise of skywalker they definitely don't want that again i think the mando one the one that dave filoni is doing maybe they'll sort of go in harder on that because essentially a lot of the characters that are going to be in there we may have already seen you know troopers and things like that mandos it might be a bit easier for them to get more characters out but a new one like the uh, the ray film or whatever I don't know, I think they might wait to see what reception that gets before you get absolutely bombarded with product. Patreon supporter Akrish Doug says, question for next week, with the release of Tame Drengaran and Velkan Tazeri, do you think this could open the door for the Tonica sisters, who, like Velkan, have been endorsed by a 1500 strong fan petition, and are minor backgrounders who may have similar issues around likeness rights? Um, yeah, I do, I do think it probably opens the door. Of course it we want that four pack to sell well for the community so that Hasbro do end up doing more of those sorts of characters. I mean, what a great four pack that was. It did get a good reception, I'm pretty sure, from, from the community and the, or the wider community. All the people that I was with at Celebration at, at the time were very, very happy with it. Um, it's one that I've known about for a little while. I may have been dropping little hints here and there over the sort of months or whatever in my videos. Um, I did say that there was another original 96 character to come from Return of the Jedi. That was the one, Squidhead. Um, so, so pleased for me, that one. I mean, he's the standout figure for me on that one. I know there's th three great characters in that four pack, but for me, Squidhead was the one. But yeah, I've got the Tonica sisters there. I mean, these two here are customs. They were gifted to me by a fan of the channel GA. Thank you once again for those GA. I absolutely love them. And uh, yeah, I, th I don't think there's any reason why we can't get those i think the whole likeness issue has been resolved i think um victoria's cantina would know a lot more about that than i do but it definitely opens up the uh possibility of more background aliens and things like that especially if that four pack does well so let's hope it really does well and then hasbro will think right this is what they want this is the kind of stuff they want and then they'll do more of it s nichols says hi bb question for next week I don't think there's a definitive R2 yet in the Vintage Collection. Which version do you think is the closest? And do you think the new Jedi Academy Luke could be a good base body for future Jedi like Kit or Plo? Any word on the next repaint of the new Phase 2 clone after the White and 212th? Keep up the excellent work. Uh, the final part of your question there, I've got no doubt that they'll be using that clone body to make many, many, many different clones. I just think we're just going to be a bit patient. but. Uh, more than likely they'll come in the form of those of those four packs. I'm, I'm pretty sure about that in terms of the Luke um, a, a few people have asked me this. I'm not too sure about that. You know, I think his uh, Some people said, you know, could they make farm boy Luke out of the Academy Luke? I don't think they can really I, I think the thing that he's wearing on his torso his like uh, Shirt if you want to call it in that um, I don't really think that that's 
baggy enough for a, for a uh, farm boy Luke. And I don't think it's really Jedi looking either. It's, it's like very ninja-like, isn't it? Uh, very Cobra Kai. It's almost like a, a karate outfit, almost. It's very tight to his skin. Um, I don't think they can really use much else with that. Personally, I wouldn't really want them to make a farm boy Luke out of it. That's for sure. I think they can do better than that. Um, in terms of your first question, the definitive R2, I've lined up some here. I've had to put this one here because uh, the other one that uses that mold that came out on the Empire Strikes Back card last year, I don't know where I've put him. So I've just had to put him there. But that's uh, VC, what, 149, is it? That's the one that came out on the actual R2-D2 card. This one is from the Vintage Saga collection with the Vac Metalized um, Dome or Vintage Trilogy collection. I can't remember which one. And this one, I'm struggling to remember where that one came from. It's got the sort of turny head that drops out the thing. It's not vintage collection, but um, out of all of those, I actually quite like this one. But I'm with you, mate. I don't think we've actually got a definitive R2 detail. I don't think I like all of them enough, or any of them enough, rather, to say, you know, that's a definitive R2 D2. Um, even if this one was clean, I don't think it'd be good enough. I think the dome's a little bit too small on that one. I don't really sort of compare figures to the accuracy of the film in that much detail that I know some people do but just looking at those I think they could make a better R2-D2 especially the one that's just been revealed in the Black Series looks amazing so hopefully um, you know they'll see sense and think you know let's do an all new astromech droid for three and three quarters. Patreon supporter Shakes the Clone says question for next time now that the channel has grown so much does this YouTube thing ever feel like more of a job than it used to? stress from meeting a deadline and the like did channel obligations interfere with your enjoyment of celebration this year also we love you tim thanks buddy um i don't think it, it feels like a job if it ever felt like that then i probably wouldn't do it anymore i think the minute you stop enjoying something you just don't do it anymore basically and that's how i feel about this i really enjoy what i do in terms of celebration um it didn't ruin my or interfere my enjoyment of it because I really loved what I was doing there. I was hanging around with some cool people. I saw what I wanted to see. I was there for the toys, ultimately, and the collectibles and things like that. I'm not a massive panel goer and that sort of thing. It was so, so busy there as well. It was kind of nice to sort of stick in one place with the same people. Um, but I did have to run off on Saturday night and go off and do my video because I wanted to get out the video for you guys going over the overview of everything that was revealed and giving you my opinions on it on it and everything and that was a bit of a, a task i had to sort of run away from the convention back to my hotel record the video <laughs> edit it and put it out on their cruddy wi-fi so it, it wasn't ideal but i enjoy it mate i enjoy it so no it's all good trevor marie says hi bb question for next week after much fanfare hasbro finally completing most of jabba's goons guards to finish the skiff scene in return of the jedi do you think that's there is a possibility Hasbro may reissue the Katana barge since there are many fans who never got the opportunity to own it? Many thanks. In the near future, unfortunately, I don't think so. I, I just don't think they're going to do that. Um, and also, I don't think that they'll be able to do it for the same price that they did it three or four years ago, or however long that was now. Um, you know, I could imagine it being quite a bit more shipping costs. The box is absolutely massive. All those things have gone up in price so i yeah i just don't think they will um i'm not going to say they never will because that'd just be silly because they might one day i just don't think it'll be in the next year or so or two years even gabe star wars collection says dear os was bounty if we get a vintage collection black chrysantin which we have because he was revealed at celebration does that mean we could get a four pack of wookie warriors with tarful as the special character thank you keep up the great work I'm not too sure about a four pack of Wookiee Warriors and Tarful specifically, but there is absolutely no way that they're gonna be a one and done with that sculpt for Chrysanthemum. They will use it for other things, they will have to. Um, it would have cost a lot of money to make that one and they're not just gonna sort of, you know, say that's it, done now, you know, they will use it for other things. Tarful is a good shout. There's other ones that I can think of as well, but yeah, maybe not a four pack, but certainly maybe other characters potentially Tarful, as you say, on their own card back, um, maybe for an anniversary or something like that. We'll have to wait and see. And we have a surprise question from my son, Little Bosk. What What do you think the next two Mando Mania reveals are going to be? That's a pretty good question. We do have two more Mando Manias to go. Um, I would hope and I would be surprised if we didn't see Cobb Vanth from the Book of Boba Fett. 
we've got lots of other Book of Boba Fett stuff and we've got Chrysanthemum now, we've got Cad Bane. I'd be surprised if we didn't get Cobb Vanth. I think he's definitely needed. I'm not too sure about the other one. There's two to go. There's not even a guarantee that it both will get something for the vintage collection. So, but Cobb Vanth is definitely one that I would I would hope to see. Possibly R5D4 maybe is one of them because we are getting the M1 Starfighter, which has been revealed now. And that does incorporate the head of VC40, is he? Uh, the R5D4 figure. So they could reissue him on a Book of Boba Fett or Mando card. Maybe we'll see that, hopefully, because I think a lot of people are wondering, you know, where they're going to get that droid from that haven't got him already. Rhett Roberts says, great work, BB. Question for next week. Since we are getting the Tuscan tribe from the Book of Boba Fett, do you think we can expect bigger things to go with them, like a Tuscan camp playset or perhaps where they make the gaffy sticks? I hope we will see a playset or maybe a banther to go with them since we already have most of the tribe. Also, do you think we can expect the Pike soldiers in TVC? Cheers in advance. So since you asked that question, I did reveal uh, on a video last week, along with a number of other fan sites out there, that the uh, they're doing the Tuscan Warrior with the new Massif dog, which is awesome. Um, so that's one thing to go with it. In terms of a playset with the gaffy sticks, I don't think so. I think that's kind of, I think we're pretty much done with this now, her <laughs> Tuscans. So we've got the Tuscan four pack, which has the the chief. We're getting the uh, Tuscan Warrior. And then we're getting the Tuscan Warrior again with the dog. And obviously this guy here, one of the best figures going, by the way, um, he is coming out single carded uh, in the Cad Bane wave, I believe. Um, so that'll be great for everybody to get their hands on that figure. I think that'll probably be it for that Tuscan bit. Not done for the Book of Boba Fett, uh, but I think for the, for the Tuscans in particular, I think, you know, I think they've done pretty well. They've given us quite a lot of it, to be fair. In terms of the Pike soldiers, I really do hope so. Um, because obviously, you know, we've got Cad Bane and Boba and lots of other things from that scene at the end there, Chrysanthemum now. So the Pike Soldiers would be a good one. We could get maybe a four pack of those or something. They're doing them in the Black Series and often, you know, things mirror the Black Series. Sometimes takes a bit of time, but eventually things mirror, don't they? So let's keep our fingers crossed for the Pikes. Patreon supporter Josh Butt says, Hi Tim, glad you were able to enjoy all of Celebration's festivities, safe and sound. Question for next week. I just received my Wave 15 box and as awesome as the figures are, I just can't get over there being two and or figures, aka the next peg warmer in the box. The fans can pick a peg warmer from a mile away, but Hasbro seemingly cannot. Two newly minted clone troopers in a case would sell out just as fast as one in a case without the embarrassing leftovers that prevent retailers from ordering more for their shelves. Lando, Dinjar and Morak, Reva, Andor and now Andor again. Totally agree with you, um, Josh, and I appreciate your help, by the way, on me acquiring that uh, Wave 15 box, which is in the post at the moment. So yeah, I mean, looking at the case selection for that, two Andors, just not needed. Two Hunters even, not really needed. You need maybe two or maybe three clone troopers in that box. That's the army builder figure. That's what they should have done. And uh, the case selections is bizarre sometimes. And yeah, as you say, we can spot it a mile off and it's just strange why they can't. But they've also put Cal Kestis in that wave as well from the previous wave. So maybe they couldn't get two in that case in the previous waves. So they wanted to get him in this one. Very, very strange. Armless Walrus, I love that name, awesome. Question for next week. It is strongly rumored that the ghost will be announced as the next HasLab at Celebration. If this is true, I want to know what was the reaction from Mark Hamilton of Ash? <laughs> I sh I'm assuming you'll catch up with him after the Cantina gig and I know he really wants the ghost. Also, please get him back on your channel to talk about it. I will try my friend. He's a busy guy, but I will definitely try. He's a great, great bloke, Mark. Uh, it was really awesome hanging out with him. And I, yeah, I mean, if it is going to be the ghost, he would be over the moon with that. I've got no doubt. Um, and whilst we're at the panel, uh, the Hasbro panel, and they announced that there was going to be a HasLab, somebody shouted out, is it the ghost? And um, I'm not too sure if Patrick really knew how to react. And also Jason from Yakface has rumored that it, that's what it's going to be. I, I personally feel that this could potentially be the worst kept secret in the world, and it's going to end up being the ghost. Um, we'll have to wait and see though, won't we? We'll have to wait and see. Um, it'd make a good HasLab though, it would. And I hope if it is the ghost, that everybody that's been asking for the Rebels characters and what have you backs it. Because if it doesn't back, the next time anybody asks for something, 
Hasbro are going to be taking it with a pinch of salt. And yeah, we've got to be a bit careful with that sort of thing. Flick says, hello to my favorite YouTube creator. Thank you, buddy. Question for next week. Over Celebration Weekend, I saw the glorious pics of the TVC Jabba's throne room playset decorated with all of the Return of the Jedi figures. And I know we will get a lot of will we ever get a Jabba questions. Here's my thought and question. Hasbro just repackaged the Slave 1 to a Book of Boba Fett branding. What are the chances of them doing the exact same thing with the throne room playset under Return of the Jedi theme? I could easily see them adding Jabba to the pack and charging $250, if not $300. They spent a lot of money on tooling the playset. Why not rebrand and resell it? So um, I don't think we've actually even seen the packaging for it yet, have we? I don't think we have. So what you're suggesting there might not even mean a change. It might come out on Return of the Jedi packaging. I don't think it will. I think it will be Book of Boba Fett because it comes with the uh, Fat Bib Fortuna figure, doesn't it? Which looks great, by the way. Um, but I think maybe what they could do is, you know, maybe release Jabba like they have done with the Black Series in one of those vintage star boxes. You get maybe the Jabba and then some other pieces perhaps. Uh, maybe another figure. I don't know. And maybe that could be like an add-on at a later date for that playset so you can like convert it to the Return of the Jedi. That's the only thing that I could see them doing. I, I, I couldn't see them actually just changing the packaging and saying we originally branded this as the Book of Boba Fett but not as many of you wanted it as we thought so now it's going to be the Return of the Jedi. I can't see them doing that. I think it's going to come out how it's going to come out. And then hopefully, as I said, like the Black Series, we'll get a jab of the hut. Because a lot of people need a jab of the hut. We only got the one in the Katana in the Vintage Collection. That's the only time he's come out. Previous lines, obviously, but in terms of the Vintage Collection, that's the only way you could have got him in the barge. So he definitely needs to come out, uh, you know, either in a box by himself or as part of a pack or something. Channel member Marco Martinez says, hello Boss Bounty, Marco from the Bronx, New York, USA. I have a few questions from the Mandalorian series. Do you think Hasbro will make a Keller and Beck in TVC? What about an army builder set for the Mandalorians from the Children of the Watch? Would we see a Luthan and Mon Mothma from the series of Andor as action figures in TVC? And would Hasbro risk in making a creature figure in TVC like the Mythosaur? Congratulations on 25K. Lots and lots of questions in there. Um, in terms of Luthan and Mon Mothma, I really do hope so because I love the Andor series, but I can't say for definite whether they will. Um, I did hear a rumour at one point that Luthan was a thing, but I think he may have been cancelled for a, a later date, perhaps. Uh, Keller and Beck, that's the, the Jedi, right? He would be cool and would be a reason to make a, an all-new Jedi body as well. In terms of creatures, they've made one. We've got the Massif, he is coming out. Okay, it's not as big as a Mythosaur or a Blurg, but at the end of the day, it's a creature. And for me, I'm hoping that that one does well and it sells well. So that will give a message to Hasbro that creatures are a wanted thing in the vintage collection. And then they might do a Blurg. I'm not too sure about a Mythosaur though. I think that would be a bit too big. But you never know what will happen in the future. All right then guys, that's it for this week's episode. I hope you enjoyed it. Please leave your questions in the comment section below for next week's episode. And hopefully you will be featured. I want to say a massive thank you to everybody for watching. And also to my Patreon supporters and channel members. I hope my voice hasn't been too bad in this. I am still suffering from the, the dreaded C-O-V-I-D. Um, I'm not even sure if I'm allowed to say it on videos like this without getting a strike or something. But anyway, um, thank you so much for watching and we shall see you on the next one.